Are you wondering about getting your garden started right now? I know we've all been sort of distracted <laughs> with some really scary news. Um, I know I have been. So in this video, I'm going to show you uh, a really simple cold frame project that I have set up in my back garden. Hi and welcome to my handmade lifestyle. I'm Patty and I get by Patty Mac Makes everywhere online. I am coming to you from the suburbs of Virginia Beach and uh, I'm sure you can hear everybody's mower going in the background. It's a beautiful day here. Uh, we're getting outside and the good news is if you have a little bit of green space you can work on, that's actually a really good outdoor activity that you can do while you're socially isolating. Um, we're gonna move. I had to come inside because um, now that I've decided to film this video today, everybody has determined that is the perfect time to come out and um, cut their own lawns and do whatever they're doing. So I had to come in, but you can see behind me, I'm working also on my um, indoor plants, my house plants. They're getting watered and fed today as well. So this video, this video I started um, over two weeks ago and it's supposed to be about setting up the cold frame and what I think about it. And um, I've had time to use it. I was not sold on it first, let me just say that. I was not sold on it, but now that I've had it, I really like it. Um, I'm going to just jump into the video as I filmed it. We're just going to pick up with the beginning footage where uh, I'm gonna show you the box and some of the setup and how the garden looked a couple of weeks ago. And then I'll come back in and um, talk to you <laughs> with where things are today. Um, yeah, this is like sort of a, I don't know. I wouldn't, I don't want to say it's poorly planned. I just want to say that life kind of got in the way and it's been crazy. And I know you can relate. Without further ado, let's jump into the uh, video content for today, which is uh, looking at how I set up uh, some lettuce plants and the cold frame in my um, kitchen garden. This is the current state of the garden and it's just a complete mess actually, it's <laughs> what it is. So um, it needs heavy duty weeding. I'm going to get in here and just kind of work on getting all of that under control. I mean, you can see it's just awful. And this side is really uh, troubling because the side of the, the box is coming apart and um, just gonna have to deal with it for, for what it is right now. Uh, but you can see like everything's just, just a wreck. So it needs weeding and cleaning and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up those, um, those new boxes and get those plants in the ground. And um, yeah, that's, that's what's going on. At least it's a beautiful day to work on it. I've got this cold frame and I'm going to put lettuce in there and a few herbs. And they've got to have full sun. So let's swing around to the garden. And you can see the full sun is like mostly right in this area. So I think I'm going to set it up there, which wasn't really what I wanted. I wanted to put it over there, but um, it's too shaded. So um yeah i think it's gonna go right in this spot and i also have this raised planter box but i'm gonna paint it first and i'm thinking it's gonna go like along the back side there it's going to have uh, flowers in it so hey you have to plant where the plants need to be and they need full sun so sometimes where we want to put things 
and where we have to put things are um, not the same. So yeah, I think it's gonna go there. And let me show you the plants. They look really good. Different lettuces, and I got another parsley and some oregano. So, and I also got some seeds. And super interested to see how this works. Um, so we're just gonna harvest our own greens here for the next little bit. Had a little trouble getting this together and I would not say that this is the most high quality uh, bit of gardening apparatus I've ever owned, uh, but it'll do the trick and um, I can definitely see it working for the lettuce. So I'm just gonna finish securing it. Um, you use like little stakes that you drive in at the corners and then I'm going to just put soil in on top of the rocks and um, plant the uh, the plants and I uh, should have a nice cold frame for my lettuce. So this is where we are at the end of day one. I'm just gonna call it quits at this point and um, I set the plants inside just to kind of see how they'll do and I think they're gonna do really well. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is not like the sturdiest thing I've ever seen but um, for what we need i think it's fine <laughs> and you can see oops so i mean it's just plastic and really flimsy but um plants go right in so tomorrow i'll um shovel in soil and get all the stuff oops uh, actually into the to the soil uh, but for tonight, I think I'll put some water on them and uh, hydrate them and just let them just chill. I think they'll be in good shape. The last clip was filmed on March the 12th, 2020. And, um, you know, basically after that, the S kind of hit the fan. <laughs> so I haven't filmed much of anything. And I didn't film anything else about my little um, cold frame garden. I did keep working on it, but I didn't film it. Uh, so today is, I don't even know what the day is. Uh, today's March 28th. So that's like every two weeks. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you uh, the progress on the garden and how it looks. And um, honestly, I'm really happy with it. I wound up uh, taking one of my uh, it's like a container garden. It's like a low profile container garden. I wound up just uh, sitting it right inside of the cold frame, which worked really well. So I didn't have to dump a bunch of soil on top of the rocks. Um, it looks great. It's worked really well. I've actually harvested some of the lettuce at this point and it is delicious. I wish I'd purchased more, but oh well. Uh, okay, so let me, let me show you what we've got because um, it's it's worked out really good. Here's the cold frame and uh, I actually wound up really liking this. Honestly, it's kind of rickety. It's not the greatest thing in the world, uh, but I only paid $30 for it. And uh, now I wish I'd gotten a couple of them because it's pretty good. And you know, if the world holds together <laughs> and things are normal, next year I would definitely buy um, another one or two of them from Lidl because I think this is also going to be a great way for me to um, still enjoy my gardening and uh, keep the rabbits from getting into all of it because uh, it's high enough I don't think they'll get into it and I do have a way to put that um, the top over. So the weather has been nice. We're having a warm spell. So you can see I've um, opened the top and they're just kind of resting on the ground behind. But let me show you inside because I think it looks really, really good. I wound up moving all of the romaine, which is the bright green inside of here. I had it in the bigger pots. Uh, I kind of think that the squirrels were messing around with stuff at night um, and they weren't doing that well. Since I've relocated them here, they're doing really, really good. So 
um, you know, that's just kind of an old gardener's rule. If you've got plants that aren't doing well in one place, just uh, relocate them and see how they do. Uh, and you can see I've put these over in this pot and they just seem to do better in a smaller pot. This is oregano and parsley and that's a parsley that uh, carried over from last year. Um, you know, I do a lot of butterfly gardening, so I really honestly can't have enough parsley. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna get more um, because I don't know, who knows what's gonna happen this year. But anyway, let me just tell you, I love the cold frame. I like how I put that uh, small um, container in there. It's the same container as over here. And you can see that's got parsley in it. That parsley um, overwintered, so it's doing really well. I'm gonna put it up on top of um, risers so that the rabbits can't get it. Uh, it's, it's delicious, I have enjoyed it myself. So I would like to completely fill uh, that bed uh, with parsley. Because, you know, I, even if we're having this virus issue, I still want my pollinator garden. You know, it's not affecting butterflies. Uh, but look how beautiful this is. So these have done really well. I have harvested. We had some of this uh, last night. And uh, it's really good. And isn't it pretty? You know, I like to grow from plants more than I do seeds because yeah, seeds are hard. <laughs> um, the seed tape I put in didn't do anything, um, but the plants are doing well. And I kind of wish I'd bought more plants now. Um, apparently, you can harvest from these uh, three or four times before the plants are spent. So we'll see how that goes. And then what you do is you um, pull leaves from the outside. You don't disturb the crown, which is the center part. You just um, harvest from outside and the plant will keep growing. So I'm just gently harvesting um, from the outside and uh, so far so good. And I'm hoping these will last for a while. Uh, they're certainly beautiful. And next year I can tell you, I will do a lot more of this. Um, so I'll just swing around. I did get things cleaned up, so it's much better. You can see these two large pots are empty. Um, not sure what I'm doing in those right now. I would like, um, I would definitely like to have cherry tomatoes. I'm not sure how I'm going to get them at this point because I'm just not going anywhere. But anyway, I've got space to grow some more stuff, so we'll see what I wind up doing. And uh, this is really my pollinator garden, and um, it has some parsley in there. And as time goes on, I'll start to get uh, marigolds, and coneflowers will come back, and all kinds of stuff. And butterfly weed, and the jasmine will bloom. And I mean, this is really a pretty garden bed. So I'm just ready for it. It's still too early, but anyway, I just wanted you to see the cleanup there. Uh, let me show you what this uh, looks like closed up. <laughs> you can see the pollen, and this is just like etched into my <laughs> table, so that needs to be cleaned, but let me just show you. So there's like a rubber gasket here, and these just slide onto the rubber gasket. Oop. It's not, it's not that sturdy, unfortunately. So you have to be kind of ginger with it, but put it over. And there you go. Now, um, this is completely closed up and I've been doing that at night when it's chilly. And then I'll put stones on it to hold it. But you also have these little, um, these little plastic things that came with. So you, there we go. Okay, so that's what you do. So I don't know what these are for, but this little piece will slide into that groove and then that 
gives you air circulation. So, uh, you know, if you're getting sun, but it's still cool, you can prop that open. Um, for today, the weather is really nice. Everybody's outside, as you can hear next door. So I'm going to open this back up, but you don't want your plants to overheat either. Had to come to the front porch to finish the video for today because the neighbors next door who they haven't been out of the house since before Christmas I'm not exaggerating uh, today they decide that they're gonna work in the backyard the day that I'm filming that's just <laughs> life in the suburbs I guess um, anyway I do like the cold frame um, the one at Lidl is the best um, deal that I've seen anywhere. The, the only thing I've seen even similar to it was something on, I think it was gardening.com. I don't know. I'll put that down here. Um, it was $175. It looks basically like it's the same product. People had the same complaints about that one as I have about mine. Uh, so... If you have Lidl where you are next spring, I guess, when did I get that? First of March, because you know, they always have different stuff. If you see that in your Lidl, I recommend it. For $30, it's a good deal. I'll definitely pick up a couple of them next year. So, okay, that's, uh, that's today's video. That's what I have for you. Um, as always, I really appreciate you watching. I hope that gives you some ideas for uh, what you can do at home. It's a little late now. I don't know that they have any cold frames left, um, but you might check your home store for um, lettuce and that type of things. I, I don't really know what's going on out there. I <laughs> haven't left my neighborhood now in two weeks. Well, I lie. I had dental surgery, so I did go out for that, but no, no shopping, looking at nothing. So, we're, and we're in. It's going to be interesting. Anyway, um, yeah, that's today's video. Uh, as always, thank you so much for hanging out and uh, drop questions below. I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. And um, yeah, if you can garden during this um, time of um, social isolation and um, locking down, I highly recommend it. It's a good healthy way to spend some quality outdoors time and to be safe okay that's it um thanks again and i'll, I'll see you in the next video